So we could have scored some goals. We could have still scored some goals despite Sepe things, the Juju thing of what they were doing. I think we could have scored some goals there. So, what, what did you learn personally? As, as somebody who was going to captain the national team, because yes, the national team will always have big boys, big players. Yeah. What did you learn from I think Colombia and so far I've, not I've passing learned, the ball to each other I've, that day? Oh, that day. No, the, just them for the grudge they have, the two of them, when they were playing to Zanaco, uh, which I just came to discover after we didn't even qualify. Uh, uh, I've, I've learned a lot from them, I think, you know, how I handle the senior players, how I need to approach them, about the, about, about the interaction, um, about the games when we go to play, I, I learn. Uh, but we started playing together more when I was the captain, because in Sofa now, find me, I was a captain, Kosafa, we played together. Uh, but Kalambe was more of retiring that time. Um, Max Nyangwe, he came, he's a senior, but I was the captain, uh, Sinkala. So I've learned from them, whatever decision I want to make or I want to consult, I'll talk to the senior, then, then I go. Tell me the something, question. what role? Uh, here's what outsiders see. Uh, captain is the one that wears the amban, talks to the referee. What, what else do captains do? Captains means a lot of things. Captain has to be a leader. Captain has to lead by example, in and off the, off the field. Well, what, do, what are the issues? When, when you're captain, say when, when you're in camp, you're the captain of the you, Zambia national team. You, you, you are guiding everybody to be one before the head coach. You are the second from the head coach, mostly like, or the technical bench. So the information will come and be guided. You are guiding your players. Guys, these things like this, like this. You are guiding them. And even in the ground still, you need to guide them, looking at the tactical, what the coach wants. Uh, you see, every now was shouting to Mama Yoka, you know, yeah. because sometimes he wants to do something differently. So he wants to put him in line with what he wants. Yeah, they talk about leaders on, 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 the, pitch. on the pitch. Yes, as a leader, captain is not just to wear the armband. You're not working very well. First of all, when it comes to marking, you need to be there. You are the leader because the players have to see, ah, captain, you're a mark. Eh, captain, you're a mark. So you are leading them. On the field, you So you have to be the best player. You For sure. Team? You need to be the best player, despite being the leadership. Because you can have you are, you can have the best player, but you don't have the leadership quality. Sometimes you So tell me, you, you, your, your generation had had good players and you even captained the team when they were senior players. Yeah. What, what, what does it take to be captain? How did you become captain? I said on first when, 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 when we just started this program, I told you that I discovered myself that I was a captain to control my family. We were 13 in the family, plus, plus, you know, with the poor Nashan. I would advise my, my father to buy these this plates, you know. Side plates. Side yeah. plates. Yeah, we got Pakamunanyapa. You know, that, that's being a leader. You know, I'm a child, but I can advise my dad. Listen, you know, that's, that's being a leader. I can go to Evelyn and discuss and being advised. You know, and it, for example, Evelyn now explained to me why he's going to lift callings. He's going to bring what? gems. Then me, I've got also my ideas. Coach, okay. So Japan. before he, the heaven even, now even makes before the he, he, he announces all national team players, he knows the team what we're gonna face. If they are slow, if they are tall, if they are fast to the back, he has two, two options. Jacob Bumlinga, he has three options. James, Jacob Bumlinga, Mayuka. That Mayuka before Mayuka. Mm. James, Jacob Bumlinga, Collins. Mayuka is just now, it's not long, it's 2008. Yeah, yeah. Eight, eight plus. Plus, plus. So, he's going to have these three options. If there is also Mayuka, is there. So, on the tactically, that's where I was understanding on the coaching perspective, and I was just a player. Because I wanted Collins to play there, he hold me the ball, you, you know those things. Because, yeah. 
from under 23. But if course. you look at Jacobo, Jacobo who are last defenders. So if you see the defenders are slow, then you see Jacobo will start. That's how he was doing everything. So night. before the squad comes out, he will ask me. He will, he will ask. He you. will call me and say, "Look, I've got a challenge. There is four strikers. I can't call four strikers in the team. Why?" And you were one of the strikers also. To be yes, to, yeah, on the, be, because you also play in midfield. Uh -huh, in coma. So you say, also also in that. So coma. he's gonna tell me, say, "Okay, I just need two or three. I don't need four, so I'm gonna lift one." Why? He will give me reasons. So tell me 2010. 2010, he chose to play Jacob and James. You see what was happening in, in 2010, Jacob and James. Mostly. But Collins will play, looking at the team, what we're going to play. Yeah. That's the 2010. So if the strikers are more, more slow, we need more Collins to keep the ball and then it's slow. The striker, the defenders are more faster. He's gonna need James or Jacobo because they will last them. They've got too much speed and energy to last them, to stabilize the back. So the the, the exchange of what Devlin was doing was making sense for me when he explained to me that listen, I'm gonna start with this because of this, 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 this. Even in 2012, you see the 2012 how he was playing, James, Mayuka, Mayuka, James. You you see how he was doing? Yeah. Mayuka, uh, James started against Senegal. Okay? Second half, they put Mayuka. Mayuka started against uh, Libya. Yes. Uh -uh. James started against Libya. Yes, yes. And, and Ghana. And, and Ghana. Yes, they take James. They take James out. They put Mayuka. And Ghana. Ghana, James started. Because he scored against uh, Sudan. Sudan. And Mayuka scored against Libya. That's why he started the, the other game. So Ghana, they move out, they put Mayuka. Mayuka scored. That's how he started in the final. So you see how he was changing the players, depending which defenders they, they are. He was only changing on these two. And then the position... And, and, and all the players knew. Because I'm thinking, how do you tell a senior player that boss, you will not play or you will be on the bench? Every now... When he's calling, for example, the qualifying game is going to tell somebody, Oh, James, uh, this game, I don't need you. Okay, but the other one, I'll call you. I just need two strikers, so I'll left you behind. He's going to, he will be left out. But lefting out doesn't mean that he's not part of us. Even I remember callings, they, 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 they left, him, left him one time. I said, I don't need callings in this game. I need only James and nah, Jacob. Because of one, two, three things. So, if we have people to start thinking of that, more coaches of, you know, of doing things but like professional. Was it a problem? Because these players had actually played very well for the national team. Yeah. And I'm sure even the supporters were like, but why isn't Jacob playing? Why isn't Collins playing? No one was even saying that why he's not starting this. That why is Because what, things, what he was doing, it was working. What's important for the coaches, whatever things he's doing, if it's working, that's that's okay. But if it's not working, then the, the, the supporters will start saying, but it was working for us, and I can understand what you, why he was doing that. You can even see, okay, Chris, go there. Uh, you think, go, go on top, man. You don't come and defend too much. I need you to score more. What, what, what? It was making sense. I want to ask you this. From the bottom of your heart, we got to the quarterfinal of the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations. But we played the quarterfinal without Renford Kalawa because he was suspended. The quarterfinal in, in 2010. Against Nigeria. Against Nigeria. If Renford was around, do you think we would have done better? On, 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 on that what one, was the problem in that game? There was no problem because we, we maintained, you know, new, new. And, um, and uh, that time, I, I can tell you behind the story that... Um, that's the time Zambia has to lift the Africa Cup because uh, I was telling myself uh, the reason why in I was telling... In 2010. In 2010. Zambia has to take two Africa Cup of Nations. Uh, I know people will quarrel with it, but we mess up ourselves somewhere, somehow. Uh, but I'm going to calculate for you. Uh, I started calculating in 2000. Mm -hmm. Okay? 2002. 
first round out. Who beat us? Yes, who beat us in two? Yes. You, okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna now it's me now to ask you a question. Okay. When we, we when we rebuilt, I hope I'm the answers. Don't I didn't worry. come here with when, answers. I no, came here with okay, questions. okay. Yeah. But I'm gonna answer for you. Yeah. When we, when Zambia was rebuilt again after the Gabon disaster, yeah, we reached in the final. Yes, ninety four. We five. never lost the game. No. Yes, until in the final. Uh -huh. Okay. In two thousand and six, we went to 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 two thousand and four. We didn't qualify. Yeah. Two thousand and six. Two thousand six. Yes, Afcon. Tunisia beat us 2-0. He reached in the final. 2008, Cameroon beat us 5-1. They reached the in fight. the final. 2010, Nigeria beat us to the penalties. They reached in, in the, the final. final. 2012, we never lost in a game. We reached the final. final. So I, I was calculating if we don't lose any game and anybody who's going to beat us, they reach in the final. Every time Zambia lose, that team which beat Zambia, they reach in the final. So I was calculating. So if we could have just... Okay, can you extend the mathematics? <laughs> the Chris Katongo mathematics. Mathematics was 20, like this. 2013. They no, 2013, I yeah, knew already that we, 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 we would not even go into the next round. I knew even before. Because even my team was in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the second league in China that time. And the time that we were in the camp, people were coming, pastors, to pray for us. These people... Each player has got his own pastors, and it was chaos in the camp. Before we go to New Spring, New Spring? Now well, Spring. Yeah. Something like that, eh? Both in F soon with you. I told my players, I said, guys, it's going to be not as things that we... were we... praying too much in 2013. No, we what were happened? just alone. No, no, nobody knew that. We were playing too much, yes. Alone. We didn't invite any pastors, whatever. Alone. Before lunch, we go for the prayers. Before before di no, before dinner, before we go to sleep, we had one hour. Chintu prayers. can yes, prayers. Chintu can take out the Bible. Joseph, whoever is coming, come the Bible. We talk about it was oneness. And we were telling people, guys, if we are not one, we won't achieve these things. Now, after we won the Africa Cup, now m maybe more pastors think So there were more pastors. Yes. Because they knew what we were doing. We were playful. Now they want us now to come and play physically. You know, it was chaos. And I was the captain. This pastor wants to play for us. This pastor wants to play for us. This pastor wants to play for us. You know, it was... Uh, what I was the Renard's position on? Pray! No, no, he was not interfering with that one. We just tell him the, the program that, okay... To the four, okay. To the four, to the five. We are Christians. say, oh, yeah, no problem. What time? Or oh, after dinner, we go for players, we go to sleep. Every day. And God can hear us, the answers, and his, God give us the So strength. the players were coming with their own pastors? It was just chaos in 2013. Or oh, people were bringing pastors? Bringing pastors. You know, and disturbing the, 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 the time of players to sleep, and, you know, and predicting things which must not be predicted, you know. So the players can be disturbed in terms of pastors, what is preaching. Instead of pastors to preach about the word of God, which is okay, but don't start predicting and preaching. When, when, when did you have a problem with it? You are saying you knew before. Me, I knew. But be did you raise a flag to say, I raised the flag. This I raised is the flag. not right. <laughs> I raised the flag. I tell Isaac, I say, listen, Isaac, the team that we are playing together, because Isaac, we are playing together, together in China, Henan. Yes. I tell Isaac, listen, Isaac, there is no other contract that we're going to have. I don't see After us this. going going into the next round. Things are not okay. What was the problem? You, it you, was many. It you, was many. You, you people didn't have enough hunger to play in 2013. No, the problem was to the people. Also to the outside. No, don't don't start, Chris. Don't start the captain. He sat on the bench. And you know the, the coaches now, you know, heavily now was like, oh, Zambians they speak what what what. He and started last, listening. I think he started listening also outside. And he put me on the bench, which is okay. Callings started. I stay on, all on the bench. They took me to doping test. We never go into the next round. But the players that I called them, I said, even Chinto, I told him, ah, we are not going anywhere. No, Chris, no, 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 no. 
It's too many pastors, too many, you know, people are saying things of, you know, the coaches has to start losing hope. So well, what, what, what did Rena tell you? I'm sure he after, called you and said, Chris, after, you are not starting this one. I'm yes, starting with calling. Yes, he told me that. There are no problem, coach. It's fine. After the game, we never spoke to each other. He flew back to France. He called me. And we talked. He apologized. I could have not listened to, to the people. Forgive me. You are my captain. And I believe in you. You still need to start coming to the national team. If I, if I call you, we, we, we talked as a, as a family. We talked on the phone. I said, coach, no problem. That one has gone. Let's start. We go to the World Cup. And that's when the Ghana, Ghana game came. I scored the only goal. I said, no, you score alone. People doesn't score. No, it was not like that. I was meant to lead. Did, did, did you feel like your teammates were beginning to believe that story at some no, point? No, my, my, team, my teammates believe in me. My teammates wanted even in me. I'm, I'm always there because they know my capability, what I can do. You know, I, I remember, I remember the, 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 the Libya, uh, the, the, the Kotoro Guinea game before we win the Africa Cup, where I scored the single goal. You know, I, I see things, it's not, you know, this is who, who I was. I see things is not moving. Keeper has to have, you know, Maumina Gopa go. I katakovye. You don't just play a game without hitting on the on the, on the 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 main instance of the game is just to put the ball in the net. Who doesn't want the net to, to be shaken? You see me, I take just personal, take the ball, boom, go. One zero, it's finished. You know, so those are the things they know what capable I can do when things are becoming tighter and tighter. They love me on that one. That, they always want me to be there. Always. And I was meant to be there at that time. And I did it. The only one who did it for now. I don't know the second one where I was going to come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let me just bring you back a little bit. Your first Africa Cup of Nations was 2006. You're part of the beneficiaries of the promotion of the under-23 players alongside the likes of Jacob, Linga, yeah, Isaac, yeah. Chansa, yeah. and the like. What, 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 what did football teach you in 2006 when you went to play at the Africa Cup, beaten football. by Tunisia? Football has taught me a lot. When I was young, I was happy to have a the jersey number with, with, with my name on the back you know and and, and that that time kalusha has already given me the jersey number 11. he gave you okay <laughs> tell me the story he, he, about he, giving you the jersey ben bamfuchide was an assistant that time you know the, the jersey number 11 no one was touching it when kalusha was a coach player he was wearing it when kalusha was a first president no one would touch it he wanted to see somebody who has got determination somebody who has got the passion somebody who can take zambia from his homes and the person who see those things is the late bamf chile because he was the assistant to to kalusha that time and he said kalu you you have to give that uh, jazz to this boy did you want it i wanted it me i wanted to wear just because you, you used to wear 10 gbf 10 sometimes seven yeah gbfc i was wearing 10 yes yeah but uh, I need to wear a jersey number 11 because my name is Christopher. The Christopher, I just got 11 letters. That's the incense I wanted to wear a jersey number 11. The secondly, it's a, it's a jersey which has got a legacy. You have to be inspired by wearing a jersey. A player has to be inspired by wearing a number which he's going to like. That's why we, we ask the names. Which number you want to, to wear? You ask the players. So it's an inspiration to wear the jazz which has a legacy. And that legacy, Kalusha, didn't want the legacy to drop. And that was the problem. And I was under so 23. So were, were you looking at it from the very... No, when, when 11 I, is the jazz that <laughs> Kalu wore. So I yes, I was looking it. at it. Yes, and I find out that even Benjamin, whatever the, the brother was wearing, just number 11. And these were great players. So you don't take lightly with the jazz number 11. Look at jazz number 10 worldwide. What, was it a, is it a heavy jazz? Is it a... It, it was heaviest a, jersey at the Chipolo Pole. At, at now, that is the heaviest jersey somebody has to wear. It's not a jersey that you just need to wear for the sake of the wearing. You need to know what jersey you are wearing. Even if you are wearing jersey number two. You look at the history of jersey number two who has been wearing jersey number two. 
Jazz number 10, jazz number 9. You, you need to know all those things. As a player, you never run away from the fact of wearing a jersey. When so, I was wearing... So how did it feel wearing six against Liberia and when they were jazz, they were caro? But he Tell me something. He, I, I, I hear when he promoted you people to the... To the senior. To the senior team. And yeah, was it a rule that everyone needed to wear copper mundao? Or black boots? No. No it was orange, just a, no white? It was just a joke in terms no, of... No no funny hairstyles? Yeah, for sure, no funny... You, you know, those things are very good for the player. You don't need allow to start the fancy things before you play for the national team. Fancy things, you never even go to play professionalism. These things also kill players. You just need to have just a good haircut. And he was giving an example only for me. Yeah. Oh. No, no, three see, I got a good haircut, <laughs> you know. No, but because I was just where the you military know. told you. Yeah, the military sure. decided the hairstyle you're going to have. Yes, you don't need the fancy hair. You know, you, you put your orange and what and know. boot. Yes, yeah, so on the boot, it just that his gen his generation changed. He was using copper munju. He was just talking about it for the people, for the players, but they were using fancy boots. But the problem if you use the fancy boots and you are not performing, yes, it's gonna come on you. That's the only problem. The fancy boots, you're not performing, which is okay, which is an encouragement. Because players have to be encouraged on, on, on what, what, what is dressing, what is wearing. It's the same like a jersey. So it's the same like a haircut. You know, you don't need the haircut. You never even if you throw a throw into the national team, you are dyeing your hair. It doesn't make any sense. You know, even into Green Buffalo, a small player, he never even played for Green Buffalo. You bring him to the senior, he's dyeing hair, putting one. It doesn't make any sense. He needs first to be... On the senior level, then first you, you work, work, then, work you can... then you do whatever you want to do. That's what he was implementing. Do the job, you're gonna do whatever you want to do. That's what he was implementing. So it was not a... it was not <laughs> not the thing of no wear black boots black. No, no, no. It's just implementing work. You work, wear things. Then that you, you want. wear whatever yeah, you want. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So um that was your first AFCON. By the time we were winning AFCON, that was what? That Number was my four? fourth AFCON. Fourth Afcon. Let's talk about that tournament. I hear issues about things you complained about. For example, in 2004, you were saying bad hotel. <laughs> I hear the, the hotel in 2012 was not any yeah, better. Yeah, for sure. We're supposed to come together with Egypt on the same hotel. Egypt booked all the, all the, the oh, hotels. Egypt at 2012 didn't qualify. No, yeah, no, not 20, yeah, 2012, we're supposed to come with the... I think Algeria, what team is there? There was one team which we needed to come together. They booked uh -huh. all the hotel. Yes, Egypt was not there, sorry. All the hotel. So the only option we had is just to go where there was a, a, a construction, more or less of construction company, there's to my, to my cabin thing, you know, and the kitchen was just far away there, where there was a big TV. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when we watched, to, when, when, when we need to watch the others playing, we need everybody to go and gather. In the, in, the, in the dining room to watch our opponents or to watch the Africa Cup. So, so it was not comfortable? It was not comfortable. To my bed, it was the, to my small thing. There's no TV there. You know, uh, uh, it, it's, it was chaos. And everybody was... But because Angola was better in terms of accommodation and the like. Yeah, Angola was better. Years before. Yeah. Angola was better, but there, the first hotel, the, the, it was not even a hotel. It's, it's, it's more or less like people were constructing things, we are sleeping there. And that's where we, we slept for the for in our group stage to, to finish all the games until we were moved to go and play uh, the, 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 the host, uh, Ikotoro Gin. That's, that's, how, that's how we started now staying on the just normal good first, hotel. First game, what? what? What actually Senegal happened? Senegal versus Zambia. Senegal versus Zambia. Well, to tell I... you the truth, Thomas Nyerenda was injured. So for me, that was the de facto number six for Zambia. Uh -huh. So when I was talking to my people inside the team, they're telling me, Nathan is going to play. Nathan? Yeah. We, and, we... And, and just before then, I think Nathan was part of the Zambia team that did not qualify to the Olympics. And he never really shined. 
What was as captain? Were you worried about these players that were going to be playing Afcon for the first time? Yes, I, Nathan, I, Chisamba. Yeah, Mayuka. Oh, Mayuka. Ma, we, Mayuka was, we, there was there before. But what was Heve saying about no, these the, young players? And I'm sure he told I, you we were I just playing Nathan. Yeah, we we were encouraging them. Just say, oh, these are young players. Just encourage them. And uh, and I was too much on Samba. With Samba Lunga was too much on him. Uh, because they were using him as left uh, number three, you remember? Yeah. And there were people were, well, why it's number three, what, what, what? But it was a strategy for the coach. And he wanted maybe mostly to uh, dribble to the, to the, the upper area. Yeah, so that was only him. But I, I can't show in the ground, but when we go to the dressing room, we, 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 I, I was talking too much on him. I said, listen, uh, the things that you refer to, like, you refer to, he wanted him, I don't want to come but just like, understand that, ah, but if you are in the fishing, the, the that's goal, how he became the, even the, my the, friend. The goal that Senegal scored, you can put some blame on him. But yep. was it important after we won two new and it was no one who was going to talk about it? It's the same. He make a mistake, Senegalese scored, but we won. No one will speak about that mistake. Even if Calabar missed the penalty in the final to lift the trophy, but when we lift, is anybody speak about what Calabar did when he missed the penalty? What was his impression? How he Nothing. showed when? So, so nobody camp, talked about that. You one. you never talked about never mistakes. Talked about, we never talked about mistakes. We were just talking about the good things that we have achieved. The, the, the biggest show of character was probably the game against Libya. Was it Libya? Yeah, that water polo game. I think that's a, my best game. Maybe more than the South African game. Uh, South African game that you ask is two South two. It finished two two. And you played lose, them in in the qualifiers. In the qualifiers, yes. You have to lift the ball, give you a free. And that was the most game that I was using my brain most of the time. Because the ball will never, you know, we'll go never on the ground. Yeah. Yes. You just lift it and you kick it. Because there was water long. That game was my best game. And that game I knew that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm over fit even in this game. I was not even feeling tired. That was my best game. Wow. And we're doubting whether the game was going to be played. Did you want to play the game before yeah, the game for, started? for sure. When it was raining, it was raining. We were in the dressing room. Uh, it stops a little bit. The referee went to the ground. We were waiting. We waited that game to play maybe 30, 35 minutes. It was delayed. We said we can play tomorrow or we play later day. The calf calendar said we're gonna lose money, we're gonna what what the calf and the FIFA. The game was to be played today. Today. In the water. In the water. And that's how it, it's being played. And we drew. Tell me something. You also played them in qualifiers. And what was the difference between Hev's approach to that game and what Dario Bonetti's ideas were in facing the same op opponent? No, it's it's different uh, the approach. I think Dario Bonetti, he, he find us we are we are more mature. Uh, we know what we wanted. He was just implying his tactical things. Um, he was also more of a simple coach, which is okay. Uh, he was a good coach, uh, especially those assistants that he has. They were more of knowledge than him, uh, but he was the head. Uh, the, 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 the difference is, is just the the, 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 the the approach in the games and the you know you know tactical each coach has got his own tactical but uh, he did the, what we wanted and we qualified tell me about the celebration so you people in the group stage you would go and then i would see chris katongo leading leading <laughs> don't you hey tell me about don't you um, and, and some people the, accused you yeah, of, no, yeah, you, you for, people are now doing politics. Politics, what, what. Even I remember, there was no politics involved there. And you're a soldier, you're not supposed to. Yes, I mean, I must not say for sure, that's why I know. The incense was behind that because we were underdogs, first of all. No one expected us to reach in the final, first of all. Even the Zambians, they didn't put more trust on us. Because of the group that we were in, Senegal, Libya, Equatorial Guinea. You see, the main the, Equatorial Guinea is the host, co-host against uh, Gabon. So, 
I'll say, you Zambians, you didn't give us hope. So we came up to the training. We came up with a with a theme. How can we start talking? What Guys, idea was it? It was mine. You see most of the goals are celebrate the same, yes. but you see the, some changes with the other guys when Mayuka scored, yes. you go and do the head like... Yeah. But you see, to me, it was just a similar. Sunzu scored, I go there, I direct him what to do. You know, yeah. Mayuka scored, I go there, I direct him what to do. You, you, you can see how I was directed because we trained. I said, guys, we just need to say, shh, we need to shut up this one. I think we started like, we need to shut up. So we said, don't you if we score, we go and celebrate. Don't go. We don't need to tell them. It was not even in political what what. We don't need to tell them that we are reaching in the final. And that's how it went. There. Oh, political. There was no political. So you believe you, you, were, you were winning that trophy? Yes. Because you said 2010 we were supposed to win. Yes. Because that was, that was my last to play for my country. And I said, I need to play like I never going to play again for the national, for the national color. And I tell my guys, I say, guys, if, if, if we lose the game, we are not reaching the final. If we need to reach the final, we must not lose the game until we win the final. And the message was clear. Even in the coach, he said, we need not to be being beaten. Tell me something. I hear when, when you qualified to the final, and that was the only possibility of going to Gabon. So we, we beat Ghana. What a game. Uh, then you went to the crash site. To Gabon. Yeah. Crash site, yes. Kalusha took us there. Uh, we, we knew his feeling of his, uh, his, his fellow friends. players, yes, his friends. And uh, for sure, this was our brothers who perished in football, who wanted Zambia to achieve something. Uh, and I think it was more of respect to go there where they died. We just give the respect to them because they wanted to achieve something for this country. And I was saying on the, on the, first, day, on the first interview, uh, I said I was not the greatest. And I think Zambia, is, when they win, we win 2012 with these players, they were not the greatest. Uh, but there's some things behind the story that people maybe can understand or maybe have to ask themselves. You know, sometimes God appoints one person to... To, to, to achieve things for others. You, you, you know what I mean? I, 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 want to, I, I, want, I want to ask you this, Chris. You've heard the story that some people say, ah, 2012, it was luck. But I want to ask you, do you believe that there was an element there, of luck? There was no luck. There was no luck, I can tell you. It is the hard work. You can put a luck here without the hard work. What is going to happen? There's no luck in football. In football, there is no luck. Lucky way to develop Miapo. But it is Miapo. How can I bet you when we were on interview and coach? Ah, that was quite a fair lucky. It was not a good execution for somebody to score. No, but but that was quite a lucky. No, it was the long technique he used to execute that ball. So if he could have executed properly, which is a hard work for him. No, that was English. You were not going into the near post for you the ball to find you in the net. You were not going in the post. You can say you are not going to the box. You say, ah, not quite lucky. You know, so what can we box. learn from that generation? It's a hard work. And, and, and I ask you this because <laughs> a lot of people, and I'm, I'm sure you've heard the story, you No, know, Zambia hasn't been doing well after 2012. 2013, you've explained to me, too many pastors and a lot of things happened. Yeah. Heaver and I apologized. Yeah. Maybe he listened to, to too wrong much people. Too Zambian people. Yeah, to wrong people. Then, 2015, we miss. You were not there. I was not there. Can I you think... pause and talk about that before <laughs> yes, for we sure. get to... um, uh, 2015. That, that time, uh, I think Coach Janza was in charge. Um, and uh, I remember we went to, 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 to the island. There's one island. Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde, yeah. Cabo Verde. I was on the bench. Collins was on the bench. Uh, Jacobo was on the bench. We were like four or five senior players. We were on the bench. And uh, Sunzu was the, the captain. The game started, blah, 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 blah. You know, there was talk to the, to the behind. Uh, and, I, and I was on the bench. I was saying, OK, guys, if we have opportunity to go there, you know, I was just telling Colin, Colin is in Gawa. I am off here. Now, I'm going to go to the end of the You know, uh -huh. um, I was not 
thinking that I'm, I'm making a mistake, maybe the coach is not <laughs> feeling well what I'm doing. Uh -huh. I went in, I created the goal for, uh, for, 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 Jem, uh, for Jacob, we scored, it was 1-1. We started defending well, but Sunzu didn't defend well, they scored 2-1. So we were coming back. I think there was some things maybe I was talking, <laughs> which, which maybe Coach Janza didn't want me to, to, to sit down and talk about it. And I think the biggest, the biggest mistake is for him to bring me and make me sit down and we talk. Like we, are, we have already sit down and talk. And he's my coach. He's my senior coach. It's finished. It's just of misunderstanding of one way or another, two of us. Maybe after that game when we are coming to Zambia, you know, those, those were the misunderstand. And I can understand he was the coach, maybe he wanted to have the new things, new players, you know, new life, you know, which is normal. But after that, we started communicating and we, we are friends. He's my coach. We call together, we, we call each other and it's finished. It's just that even in the newspaper, these ones post, they like something else, which, which was not in the case. But in the future, we need, like, like Kavaso. They chase Kavaso in the camp, you remember? Yeah. But as a coach, you bring him. Bring him, sit him down. We, we, we are the players who need to listen. You are the father. A child makes a mistake, you chase him. Bring him, sit down. So that, that was just come a mistake. Of, they could have bring me, sit down, Chris. What we are saying, what we are doing, what you are, what? You are a captain. You are the leader. Don't start doing this. Stop, for example. But those are the issues that we didn't do. And the things started to move the way things must not move. But otherwise, there was no big issue. You, you, you came back and I remember seeing you on TV and said that as long as I have power, we we'll fight for this country. I'm like, okay, there. Yeah. This is a military man, huh? yeah. you know, he's leading us to war. I, I believe in myself and uh, I believe my capability. And when I fail, I say I fail. But when I want to succeed, I don't see failure. You don't need to see failure. Tell me something. They say the Zambia's football got messed up after 2012. No, it was not messed up after 2012. Zambian football started to mess up after Africa Cup 2015, because Janza left. Maybe they could have left Janza. And I, I'm telling, when I'm calling for Janza, I'm telling, you know, TD, you could have stayed as a technical director. I always, we spoke on the phone. I said, TD, you could have just stayed there. But for sure, you know, is a, a- Why, why, why do you say that? Me. Because I know, I know what capability can do in football. No, um, you tell me what happened after Janza left that. After ja they could have left Janza to stay still with the team, because he started building it again. That's the problem. Uh, my coach started building it again, so they could have left him, start building again. You, you, you to get the continue point. building. To continue building. Now this one left, this one comes in with his own players. And you, you, see, you, see, you see how it's going. Every coach who comes, there will be one, two senior players out. Every coaches who come, there's one, two senior players going up. Which is okay, but how is these players phasing out? Who's going to replace Kalaba when he retires? Who's going to replace Chris Katongo when he retires? These are the things that we didn't plan in the future. If we could have planned, okay, listen, Chris, I think he remained with two, three years. Maybe one year. Who can they replace? There because was no plan. Some people accused you, for instance, of being jealous of younger players who were trying to make a name, just like you did. So they say uh, your arguments or your points are looking at protecting the name of Chris Katongo being the Afcon winning captain. No, no, no. We are protecting the Zambia. We are protecting the players who has been there. They, they have played already football. It's not about myself. It's about the country. They are lying to themselves because if if it's myself, Zambia could have gone to the Africa Cup. Zambia has to go to the Africa Cup, and I was saying, don't take out the senior players. That was my message. Okay, that so it's not about this. Do we have senior players? Who is the senior players now? There is phase out now. The senior players now is like Mwepu, uh, Pasondaka. These are the senior players. Sinkala, uh, you know, just to mention a few. Because they are not even senior enough. 
because they are not even a leader as this one. They need to be led. There should be a transition. Do you, do, you, do you see a problem with the captaincy of the national team after you left? Because in, in see, the last five I years, that's I, gonna become, that, I see that is going to be a problem. Even if they say I'm selfish or whatever, I'm not a selfish guy. Because I was playing as a team to win the Africa Cup of Nations. I was not playing alone. And I know what it takes. And you know, Zambians, we... we, 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 we Who can we be love, captain? We love to talk. Who can be captain? Who should be captain? It's not me to see. I'm not there to the national team. It's not me. If, if you look, best captain ever Zambia has have. Who? Because Zambia has got many players who has been where the armband. Kilambe has wear the armband before. Uh, Mishek Lungu has wear armband before. Uh, Tana has wear armband before. Vitana has wear armband before. Jones Mwewaze. I can mention hills and mountains. If you look at the leadership of the Zambia national soccer team right now, who do you think can be captain of this team? I know you don't want to mention them. No, we don't. You know, there's two ways that the people are selecting. But for now, for now, we are at zero. We are zero. No one is leading the national team. We are at zero. There's no one who is going to say something about the national team. We didn't go to the Africa Cup. The, the players are there. There is no captain. There is no who. We are at zero. What we have to do is to start afresh. We have to make a plan for the next four years, for the next five years. Otherwise, we'll start, you know, pointing fingers here and there. Now, on the captaincy also, there's two things. It's about the, the coach. A captain can be a senior coach, a senior player. Okay? And a captain can be a junior player. If it's a junior player, what is the leadership quality he has as a junior? Because I was under 23, I was 24, I was 25 years old. I was a captain. I was captain uh, bigger players who were 33, 34. And I was controlling him in the ground. So, what is the law of the captain for that particular moment for that or whoever is in charge? Let me ask because... you, let me ask you this <laughs> question. Christopher Katongo, are we ever going to see a day when you would probably want to serve football differently? Say, first president. Yeah, for sure. Everybody has got the dreams. You know, I've been in football also for so long. If, if I take myself out for not contesting the presidency, then who? You, you, you get the point. If Munaile is not stepping out there, after four years, for sure there's a president who's four years there after four years. Then who? So we need to start looking at it. Who can challenge him? Or who can go there? Because after four years, for sure, uh, 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 Andrew, after four years, he won't even stand. Because the term is going to finish. But I don't know the rules, if he's going to stand or not after four years. But I think we need to start planning now. But I see myself contesting. I see myself even coaching for the national team. I see myself being a better coach, being in top level. I, I, you need to have those dreams. You can't just say, okay, I will in a, an inch car. Because Carlo has set the step. A player can also lead. Uh, George Way has stepped the, the step to be the president. It's, it's, many, it's many things we have seen. So, so you even, could, even you could has, also be it, president of the country. We didn't say that. I didn't say that. No, I'm saying, <laughs> would you want one day? I didn't say that. You know, I'm saying, a, would you mind one no, day? No, but you know, I'm in the military, uh, so I need to see what I'm saying. Okay. So on that one, I can't start saying that. Uh, but for sure, people have got visions differently. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I'm just saying, you see the steps of the players, what they have taken. You know, even if FIFA president Sam Blatter said, uh, leave football for footballers. You know, he knows why he means leave football for footballers. We, but we are not saying people who are business people, business there, they can't run football. They can run football. But more footballers has to be involved. More regions has to be involved. Look at South Africa, what they are doing. It's 10 regions selecting the national team. Look at Ivory Coast. Look at Ghana. Look, we are not even copying these things for this to come into... We are just letting the legend. There's so many legends. It's not only me. <laughs> there is Kirambes, there is Tana, a lot of legends there. They can contribute something. Chris Katongo, CK11, thank you for the moments and uh, all the best. Maybe one day I'll talk to you as president of FAST. Thank you. Thank you very much.